dear friend, thank you for watching. I want to share with you what it feels like. I want to share with you what it looks like and feels like on the inside emotionally to improve your vision. Vision improvement. Vision improvement can be like having two images moving fast, very sharp, intensely sharp, but it can be still hard to read something because it moves. Your eyes usually make a hundred thousand little motions a day, but if you're nearsighted and you tense the muscles of uh, the eye, then your eyes are unable to make so many motions. If you improve your vision after being nearsighted for a long time, you might notice these movements and your brain is not used to making it into one flowing image anymore. This is why you can see so much motion. Do you remember maybe having good eyesight and seeing dancing letters? <laughs> like if you have two weird colors like green and red and you move and you'll see a delay and you see the letters dancing like that. This is what I mean. But then constantly with everything. Vision improvement can be like seeing something well, looking somewhere else and not seeing it well <laughs> at all, even if it's just as far away. Having good vision is like the color intensity is so amazing, like green, green grass is so intensely green. It is like feeling with your eyes. You can enjoy the glitters with Christmas. Like really enjoy how it feels instead of just seeing glitters. Vision improvements like waking up, being there, really being there. It is letting in joy, gratefulness, and it's about letting in fear. It's about paying attention. It's about having thoughts in the background instead of the foreground. It's about feeling naked. The dark feels... It looks much darker. And you can only see sharp where you're looking at. And not all the way around. The image is not a flat, sharp image like when you look through glasses or lenses. You're in one motion with everything around you. Vision improvement is so much more than just vision. Sometimes my eyesight is bad and I stay in the moment uh, to wait but emotion surfaces and sometimes it will be intense joy that I've been blocking. I've been used to blocking anything that's intense. Your heart might start to beat a little faster. You might feel a little, a little bit warm. You might breathe a bit faster, a bit deeper. Relax your neck and shoulders. Seeing this world in motion, high contrast, high detail, with depth and feeling, very intense. There is no 
good way to describe the feeling of seeing. It is very, very different from being open to reality instead of being withdrawn, literally, with your eyes. We have six muscles around your eyes that keep them into place and you can use them to move your eyes and look all kinds of directions. <laughs> uh, but you can use these muscles to tense your eye and your eyeball becomes longer. You're withdrawn from reality. You can use a crutch when your leg is broken, but it's not the same as having a, having a fully functioning leg. Walking on your own. There is a great reward in vision improvement, even though for me the road's been very difficult and very emotional. It's a path of healing and mindfulness and crying and joy and all of that. And if your eyesight is very bad and you're like, okay, I, I, maybe I do not want or cannot improve uh, like Jessica is doing, because I have minus 10 or I have minus 12 and uh, I feel that the challenge is too big. For your own health, it is wise to relax. That's what I do feel. I'm not an ophthalmologist. I cannot say this is what you have to do, but go with your own gut feeling because your gut is a brain too, if you didn't know it yet. And listen to it and if it says that I'm right then working on yourself might be a really good idea if your eyes are okay right now and you prove them maybe with a quarter maybe a half then and, and keep your eye pressure where it is or maybe even maintain and instead of uh, having your eyesight deteriorate further over time then it might save you blindness later in life. It is a personal journey. It's a very personal journey. And I cannot make promises, I cannot make guarantees, but I do not think we're evolutionarily made to be nearsighted. I believe that we can heal this and that anything wants to be in the shape it's meant to be in. So if you work on yourself and your emotional well-being, your eyes are going to benefit. And for me, the joy of feeling what I see is so worth the journey and healing all my wounds from the past. It can be hard sometimes I feel like it's never going to end like it's like you're digging away out and new stuff comes falling all over you and it's completely frustrating at times but it's still very much worth it. I would not I would not tr trade this journey for anything else. I w when once I found out how it makes me feel, there's no way I'm going back. And it may, uh, it definitely has a big impact on my life. It may mean sometimes outside I don't see people to, and they might feel offended because they don't know that I don't see them at the moment. I might miss some details in a movie. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just patiently continue and share how this is going for me. 
And if I find out anything that can help you in any way medically, then I'll share it with you. I have my own theory and I'll share it soon as well. So this is what vision improvement feels like. If you like this video, please leave a like, put your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.